hello. Hopefully there's no one around that can hear me talking to myself. So, I hope it gives you a good laugh if you're <laughs> nearby. Um, so, I've had a fun week. Uh, I had a cycle for him. Herbert gave him a giggle, but he was very good. So, just coming down near there. So, I've come to a more secluded area. I don't know if it's safe to sit down where I am. So, oh, look at my puffy red face. Um, yeah, so I've come to get. So, I live between sort of between two towns in like a village that's kind of connected by both towns. So I kind of live in a town, but not in a town. Does that make sense? Um, so I've come to the one that's ever so slightly further away to get my car fixed. Um, so I dropped it off around about half past ten. So I walked into town, popped into Boots, um, got a few cosmetics that I needed, and then like sun cream and hair stuff that I can get in Boots. Oh, it's a little pond. Just go sit by the. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, we'll film that in a minute. Um, come by the pond and get eaten by mosquitoes because I've already got a mosquito bite on my hip. So you might as well get some friends for it and probably set up to mosquito bites. Um, let's sit down here. This is quite nice. Mm, see, and they also get me back bad too. Oh, a pen's gone through my paper bag. Um, so yeah, I popped the boots, did some stuff, uh, walked to the local park, I was sat under a tree because I bought myself a new book about vegetable growing, so I sat and read that, and then about 11 o'clock got a phone call to say that what was broken, um, and that they could get the part, but they wouldn't be able to get the part, wouldn't come in until like, just after two, and, I mean, from, like, the mechanics, if you walk like you mean it, I can walk home in 45 minutes. But from where I was, it would take just over an hour to walk home, probably, and that's if I walked like I meant it. And it's too hot for that, it's like 26 degrees today, which in like sunshine would be warmer, would be more closer to 30. So I wouldn't be walking like I meant it. So I'd have three hours. So it's not gonna take long to replace it. Um, I mean, they've taken the door apart now, so all they would have to do is replace the bit and then put it back together again. So they said that it'll probably be done by three and they would give me a call as they finish up fixing it anyway so that I would know it was nearly done. And, um, yeah. So I had about three, maybe four hours at the most. So I was like... People walking by. Um, so at the most, I'd have like three, four hours. So by the time I walked home and walked back again, that would take over two hours of my day would be spent walking to and fro. I was like, oh, do you know what? I could kill a couple of hours in town. So I, I where I was sat, I was like, oh, I'll go get a pen and notebook so I can take notes from this book that I'm reading. Um, make use of my time. So I back into town. So Smith's was closest to me. So I was like, oh, we'll go there. Get a pen and notebook. Found out they were closing down. Everything was half price. Bought some new books. What else do you do? No pen, <laughs> no notebook. So I walked back to the works. Got a pen and notebook. Um, went back to my tree that I was sat underneath in the park originally. Ate my lunch, which was just a sandwich and stuff from Costa, with an iced coffee. Chilled for a bit, and then thought, oh, where I am, I'm quite close to, like, I don't know if it counts as a nature reserve, but, like, a secondary park. It's kind of more felt in, like, the sportsier park, so I thought I'd walk to the other park, and then walk back. So that's what I'm doing now. So there you go. Hiding from people so I can talk to my iPod. I'm also not listening to a podcast, I'm not listening to music, I'm not listening to an audiobook. 
I'm listening to my own thoughts. I'm making myself do this. So I should take my head. Um, it's quite nice. Not as daunting. So I found at home I can't focus unless I've got music on or something, some noise on. I'm trying to not do that. Ooh, jogger. Ooh, this is weird. Right, let's continue the walk. And I'll show you, like, this little spot that I'm currently knelt down in. It doesn't look quite so pretty. <laughs> oh, God. Hopefully you'll get how pretty that is. It looks prettier from the other side, I think. Ooh, that's a big cobweb. Big cobweb and he makes my hair. situation. past two to say my car was ready so I walked back I think I got there about oh, quarter to three I think I got back to the car place paid them an awful lot of money so thank you for letting me pay them an awful lot of money I can now move my passenger window which I've not been able to do see it's around about the time we moved which is February I drove home with both windows down. It was amazing. Wind blowing my very warm hair. That probably could do with a wash. Because it's probably a bit gross. I'm probably a bit gross because I'm going to get a bit sweaty and I walk back from the two parks. It's obviously warmer now than when I set off at 11 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Look, have I, I've toned down in the redness, haven't I? Hopefully I haven't burnt again. I did put Factor 50 on. I'm mean, I did get home and I was so sweaty I wiped my face with a tissue. Tissue went yellow and I thought, oh my God. Like, have I not cleaned myself? And then 20 minutes later I realised, no, that's not because, you, like, you haven't cleaned yourself. Oh, because you have. Yes, what well, face wash is for. Um, it was, so must be sun cream. <laughs> I forgot I put it on. And I, like, I can smell it on my arm still. It just smells like summer, which it is. So, yeah. There we go. Thoughts. You know how Gretchen Wiener's hair is full of secrets? 
I think that's right. My hair's for the sport. Do you want to see my books? See my books? I brought books today. Because, you know, in a tiny house, that's what you need more of, is more books. A tiny house that has more than enough books. More books than you shake a wooden sticker. We've gone for Nigel Slater's Appetite because it was half price. Probably wouldn't have bought it otherwise. To be honest, I think my partner might get more out of this. Jesus! His bread dough is 70% water. 60 is a good amount. Maybe 65, 70, you now you're borderline for catcher. Um, the cottage kitchen. Did I buy it because the tagline was cozy cooking in the English countryside? Yeah, yeah, I did. And it was half price. But no idea what it is originally because the only prices on the back of it are in US and Canadian dollars. Um, but it's about a Norwegian lady who travelled a lot as a photographer after she left uni. Um, became obsessed with the English countryside, called herself an anglophile, which is just a funny word. Because um, to me, it sounds like you're a fisherman. <laughs> Being an angler. Uh, ooh, tomato tartar tan with burrata. It's a bit different. Like, there's things in here that... Oh, hello. Zucchini pasta with pancetta and wild garlic. That is up for my straza. Pesto and pine nuts, parmesan. Courgette. I love a courgette. Oh, that's not on my list of veg to grow. Oh, no, it might be, actually. Um, but again, I like the fact that this is in months of the year. Not months of the year. Seasons, even. It's in seasons. So it's got spring, summer, autumn, winter. Which I like. Another one that I got half price. Eat Better Forever by HFW, I'm now calling him. You find your with installed because he's my absolute hero. I want a small holding. I want a river cottage. I want to move to the Devon Dorset. Yeah, Devon Dorset border and live off the land. I am really liking this book, actually. It's uh, about healthy eating, but not in a diet sense, in a... Do you need to eat a varied diet of all the fruits and vegetables? Here are some recipes that will mean that you've eaten all your fruits and vegetables for the day. Which we need more of in our lives, let's be honest. Like, because most health books, like health food books, it's about losing weight and dieting in that sense. Whereas this is more like foods that will help your gut health which is really important your gut health is so important to your overall health and like antibiotics are really bad for your gut so this is about keeping viruses and diseases at bay by eating properly and making sure that your immune system is functioning properly so that your gut can be happy And I need to try this morning ginger kicker. Is that the meaning? Um, and it, yeah, it's just, it's like the bit I was, I was reading earlier, it says that on average, a UK adult person will live to the age of 82, but we will spend the last 20 years of our lives in poor health which, and the poor health is going to be caused by having a lifestyle that isn't the ideal. So it's all about not just like living longer, but it's being, it's all about your physical, like actual overall health and the fact that, eat, like, and it also involves mental health and the fact that people, there's been studies that people who have eaten whole foods, their mental health has improved. So it is truly eat shit, feel shit, is um, how we used to <laughs> call it at school between me and um, a, couple, a couple of people who are, uh, probably should have had um, 
uh, therapy at the time. Um, me and some other depressed teenagers, we, we did come to the conclusion that if you eat shit and you feel like shit, you know, you would be more depressed if we ate pizza, but then being depressed made you eat worse, made you eat more chocolate and more rubbish. And it was, you know, self-fulfilling prophecy slash endless spiral. So that was really good. And then what I got from the works was your allotment month by month, which I really like. I made quite a few notes on whilst I was sat in the park. Um, I really like this book. It's really, it's really overall like it, it ha like it's information on the no dig system is that tiny little box there, but you can go research it further. It's um, more of a giving you well-rounded kind of view and then you can research each bit more closely if you wish. Um, and it's just laid out really nicely, really easy to read, really accessible and really encouraging. So like that. So, you know, my bank card is taking a bit of a bashing today. Just a little bit. You know, because I'm skinned, so I thought, why not spend nearly 200 quid on my car and then go waste loads of money on books? Can you waste money on books? Is money used on books wasteful? Is it, though? I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Books are just too important. Is that grey or is that blonde? <laughs> is that grey or is it blonde now? Oh, I hate that game. Or is it lighting? Or is it lighting? Is it blonde? Is it grey? Is it lighting? Oh. Right. I've got an absolute st oh no, stack of books. Look. I've got to find room for that in my tiny, tiny house. Hello there. I'm just doing the pin tuck detail on my acorn socks. The guy his name is something or other. They haven't written it down on, on the paperwork. Link can be down below. Just like them. And it's, um, it's very clear, although I went off piece and then got very confused when I came back to piece. But you've got this cool detail going on. It's a bit fishnetty, but it's actually the top of an acorn. Um, I am knitting it with some chromatic yarns, Lothlanders mould wine. Or is that, is that the name of the wizard in the Dwarf series? I think, or is that, I think this is called Lothander's Mold Wine. It's a, um, the, the false game from Chromatic Yarns' Advent Calendar a couple of years ago. But I thought it's quite autumnally in flavour, so I thought it would work well with acorn. Um, socks basically. Um, my stitch marker is a little hot chocolate but I can't remember where it's from but it's cute um, and it's being this project bag is a fairly Christmassy one with polar bears that are in red hats and red scarves on the red background so they look a bit weird and then I've got a little gingerbread snowflake charm on there as well as the stitch markers I was using for the heel, which are very summery. Pineapple and ice cream, obviously. Um, I'm in, on DPNs. Fancy to DPN. Um, 2.25, I believe. Probably 72 stitch count. I think that's actually wrong. I can't remember. Now. I need to count this. 
before I make the second pair. Second pair, second sock. Anyway. is actually quite a painstaking process but I'm sure it'll be worth it to have a little welt oh, it's not bad. so I've been listening to my current my current favourite but the podcast that I'm listening to or the back catalogue of which is Totalis Rankin with Rob and Jamie. Um, it is essentially Rex Factor, if you're a Rex Factor fan, but Raymond Emperors instead of English and the Scottish monarchs. Uh, it's very fun, it's brilliant. I've just got to episode 11 of keeping it real it is now Friday but hey hey um, I need to show you something <laughs> that went wrong I put my frittata and my word does it look worse on the screen than it is in real life um, but it's a nice shade of brown <laughs> and I think my herbs leaked a little bit of water but I mean, that's. You can't really see that, can you, from there? <coughs> see, that side, absolutely fine. This side, not so much. But if you cut this <laughs> bit off, it tastes okay. It tastes cheesy, oniony, eggy. Uh, <laughs> and really nice. I really enjoyed it. And I was really sad I had to throw half of it away because I burnt it. <laughs> so, yeah. It's not always sunshine, rainbows, butterflies. Sometimes it's scraping the burnt bit <laughs> off your dinner. Ah, <laughs> oh, life is life, eh? <laughs> <laughs>